G'day, so Total Scumbag OC is having a look at the Rudolph RS1. It's the first competition car kit fully developed RS1. and designed by Rudolph. And uh, yeah, one of our local RC experts, well, I'm declaring him so, Christopher Mitchell, had it out at the track, so I got a bit of quick. There's a quick look around the track, and then we're going to chuck it on the bench and have a look at some of its unique features. It's a very recently released model, so enjoy. Iris One. So this is my brand new Iris One, straight off the track. Uh, first shakedown runs tonight. It's a slightly different take on the current range of all-wheel drive belt-driven touring cars. Uh, key difference is really is it's a three-belt design rather than a traditional two-belt mid-motor design. So instead of the spur gear being in the middle, the uh, motor is closer to the middle now, and it puts the spur gear a bit further behind. It's got a central set of pulleys and three identical length belts. And that keeps the belts straight down the center of the car, effectively tries to eliminate some of those nasty things like torque steer from the belts. Uh, it uses quite a, an odd chassis and suspension layout, similar to the automatics with roll dampers, but um, these actually come off of push rods here on the front and rear and that uh, creates an in inboard cantilever style suspension and roll dampers rather than... That's wicked. That's a, yeah, so that's a heave damper, so that's a fifth damper on the car that controls some of the dive as you fall into the corners. A yeah. um, couple of unique things about the, the car is that all the upper arms are equal, equal across the car, all the lower arms are equal across the car. Look at that, uh, yeah. All the adjustment is done with internal pills, so there's no like extra parts you have to buy or uh, extra different suspension components and stuff, except for maybe a different uh, roll center insert if you really want to tune the roll center in the car. So it makes it pretty handy. Um, straight out of the box, you know, there's not too many tuning options uh, available in the kit, but the basics of things like sway bars, adjustable springs, one of the extra things I didn't mention, it's torsion bar springs here. So right in there, there's a little bit of wire. You can probably barely see that I'm just touching there with my driver tip. That's actually the spring. So. The springs are mounted fixed on the back end and they're mounted inside these damper arms on all four corners and as you compress the damper arm tries to turn and it tries to twist the spring and roll and that creates the spring action there so <laughs> something pretty or not really done in uh modern day touring cars i think there's maybe maybe been one or two attempts of this kind of chassis and suspension design over the years but um pretty cool idea from andreas meyerberg and the team at rudog distribution uh, initial thoughts is it's really easy to drive, it's very smooth right now. I'm pretty happy with it and um, just slowly feeling out different things I can tune on it and, and get it going around the track. Beautiful man, thank you for the info and the shout outs there, that's really good. Eh? No worries man. There you go, Chris uh, definitely with the information and technical specifications that are beyond me at this point. But, yeah, I hope you liked it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I, uh, this is not affiliated or anything, this video, so if you want to purchase one, go on online and you work that out. Um, this is just the footage from the start, repeated, running around the track. I didn't get heaps. So have a great day. Thanks for checking out the RS1 on Total Scumbag RC. Thanks again, Chris, at WCMRC Club.